This is my cameraman and my son, Jay. Say hi, Jay. Hey. You excited about going fishing? Are you ready to go fishing? I'm ready to go fishing. What about you? Maybe. Are you excited? Yes. You ready to get on the water to see what this thing will do? Yes. I know, right? I know. Okay. I just hope I don't get splashed. Oh, throw you off. Just kidding. I love you, buddy. Love you too. By the way, happy birthday. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> birthday was last week, right? Yeah, yeah. Mom Wednesday. So everybody tell Jay happy birthday. In the comments down below. Bye. This is your boys back from Banana Bros Garage. Today we're out here at beautiful Lake Tougaloo, um, located in northern part and northern part of South Carolina. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful day out here today. We've got the Hankai 12 on the back, and we're going to officially run her today. So y'all get to see how it runs. So stay tuned. All right, you ready, Jay? Where is the chip? Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, fish out that way. Okay. To the to the right. This way. Up there in front of you. Can you do it? You think I can do it? I don't know. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Banana Bros Garage. You got Big S and Big J, our camera in. Say hi, buddy. Hi. All right, today we are talking about how we install the lights on our boat. Uh, and I'm talking about the little small four inch lights, the LED lights. Uh, one of our 
subscribers had asked how we did it and we used a tool called a nut ribbit gun and yeah i know let's get all the laughs out everything this little tool is very helpful i mean very helpful um we actually found the size of our rivet that's a threaded insert and it goes in if you can see um the screws on the outside edge now what we did was we took a drill bit about the same size of this diameter of this insert um, once we threaded it on we drilled our holes once we drilled where we wanted exactly where we wanted our lights at we then took this threaded it on which was an eight millimeter thread so we used an eight millimeter bolt probably about a, maybe an inch tall as we did that we took some two-part epoxy mixed it up we put it on the outside edge of the insert just to keep water keep it sealed keep water from coming in and then you put it in the hole and you pretty much that's it very simple now the other thing that we did do was to keep water from coming through this said threaded insert as we took the bolt and use some black silicone. Um, Permatex is what we used. We put it around the bolt and put everything back in, tightened it down, problem solved. So that's how we did it. It's very simple, very easy. You can get this off of eBay. You can get this off of Amazon where we got ours. Uh, this is a 14 inch nut rivet gun. That's it. Does it come with, does that come with the box too? Yes, it comes with this nice little handy carrying case, which it all has. And ours is a little dusty and rusty and crusty because we've had it open. Um, you have from a 5 16 M5, an M8, a quarter inch. You have an M8, you have an M10. You also have a 1024. So you also get a tool to help you take out each of these and change them out for the threads. So each one of these have different container in it, which has got the thread where the uh, insert screws on or threads on, and you got a cap for each one of the coordinated threads that you're using. Um, it also comes with some of the rivets, or excuse me, inserts that we use, rivet inserts that we use. But we had to go through another bag, so we got another bag of eight millimeter. Yeah, that was. Um, that was a little another trial of error that we had to do. So I hope y'all enjoy our videos. I hope that you guys like everything that we do. Keep on watching and keep subscribing. See y'all later.